Have you been 3D printing for a while and then suddenly the parts just stop sticking to your print bed? Well, in today's 3D Printing 101, I'm gonna show you how I rejuvenate my printing surface with glue sticks and metho. Let's get started. How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and welcome back to another 3D Printing 101. So, if you've had a 3D printer for a while and you've been printing lots of cool things, then you've no doubt come across this issue where parts just start not sticking to the print surface properly. You know, you might have had really good adhesion initially, but for some reason parts just break free and then your prints fail. I have encountered this many times in the past across all of my 3D printers, and it's something that I've learned to basically maintain by rejuvenating my printing surface. So you no doubt would have seen all of these 3D printing bed adhesion alternatives on the market where you can actually buy purpose-made liquids and sprays to put onto your surface to help things stick. But in my personal opinion, I've had fantastic success with only these two items. Basically, the biggest cause to printing bed failure, in my opinion, is oils and dirt. As you pr pick up your print surface, for example, this is the, the bed from the Prusa Mark III, you touch it and you get oil onto the surface and that greatly diminishes your print's first layer from adhering to the print bed. And this thing is just a glue stick and I find a very small amount of glue stick goes a long way to just giving your first layer that little bit of extra adherence to the print surface. So let me show you how I do it. All right, so to start, I'm gonna use the Prusa Mark III PEI powder coated plate. Now I know a lot of people didn't get these, uh, this is the prototype version, but this will still work on the standard PEI sheets. And the issue is over time you touch these and they get oil and grease from your fingers and that greatly reduces your print's ability to adhere to it. So before we start, make sure there's no filament stuck to the print surface by using a scraper blade, I'm just going over it. Just making sure there's no filament stuck to it. And then we need to remove that grease. So to do so, I like to use methylated spirits. You could use any other solvent like isopropyl alcohol or something like that. But uh, methylated spirits is very cheap in Australia and it works quite well at removing, removing that grease. So I'm just gonna add onto this towel. And then I'm just gonna go over the plate quite liberally and remove that grease. Now, it's important to do this without a heated bed. Uh, you wanna do this while the plate's cold. So if you have been like changing filaments or preheating your printer, make sure it's cooled down or if you can remove it from the actual printer, it makes it a lot easier to do. Now, the next step, you can actually just leave it here and you'll get decent adhesion, but to give it a really good edge, I actually like to use glue stick. Now, a lot of people just use glue stick and just go right across it and leave it like that. But I find it gives a very uneven surface and you might have some areas that have good adhesion, some that have too much, etc. So what I actually like to do is just put a bit on the bed like this, that's probably more than enough. And I'll get more of my solvent, more of my methylated spirits. Oh, a bit too much, that's fine. And I'll actually then go over the print bed again to actually rub this glue stick, this uh, PVA glue into the PEI. So it's being dissolved by the solvent and it's gonna give me a very thin layer of that PVA across the entire bed. And in my experiences of doing 3D printing over the years, this has given me a fantastic first layer that won't discolor your, your first layer of the print, whereas some other bed adhesion solutions might actually affect that. This, in my opinion, works really well. And uh, this is what I do on my printers. But let's move on to something that's a little bit more dirty. This is the print bite surface and I've been using this a very long time on my heavily modified Cocoon Create uh, i3 which is it's a Wanhao duplicator i3 just rebranded um, and basically this print surface doesn't really need anything on top of it. it it warms up and parts stick to it well but I've been printing a lot of flexibles and flexibles you need a little bit of a helping hand so this is disgusting it's had lots of glue stick and lots of uh, dirt on it over, over a long period of time. So to clean this, again, using a scraper blade, you wanna to try to get as much of it off from the surface as you can, just rubbing back and forth. Being careful, obviously, not to scrape towards yourself. And then, to get the remainder off, I actually like to get a paper towel, lay it 
over the print bed. And again, again, nothing is powered on, it's all off. And then I'll put a little bit of a uh, little bit of the uh, solvent on that towel. And then I'll leave this for a few minutes maybe till it's actually had a really good chance to soak in to that remaining adhesive. All right, and after it's had some time to soften, you can actually get the bigger bits off with uh, the scraper blade again. You can just see that goop coming off. You know, that's all from the old glue stick and maybe a little bit of filament as well. Yeah, yum. So let's get that crap off and then get another towel and rub this back to remove that debris. You might not be able to get all of it off, but the main point is to get as much of it off as you can because you want to go back to a nice, clean, virgin surface. But at the end, you should be left with a nice, clean print surface with no oils and no impurities, no dirt that gives you prints that adhere just as well as they did when you first got it. Okay, and this is the print surface for the Tronix YX1, and it has a non-heated print surface, which means you do generally need some sort of bed adhesion additive like glue stick, but as you can see here, it builds up after a while to a really gross sort of first layer. So again, what you can do is use solvents and a scraper blade to scrape this back, but you will need a lot more glue stick on this than you would on, for example, the Prusa uh, PEI surfaces, because they warm up and the heat helps things adhere. I find that you do need to go a little bit heavier with the glue stick if you want that print to have a chance to succeed. This also applies to unheated print beds with glass, for example. I find that you really do need more of that glue stick to help the print surface actually stick. But if your print bed is heated even to just 45 degrees Celsius or so, you only need a tiny bit of glue stick, if anything, to give that first layer a really good shot. So thanks for watching guys, hope you found this 3D Printing 101 useful on rejuvenating your printing service to get the best, most reliable first layer so you can have a print succeed first time instead of coming back to failures which as all we, we all know are extremely frustrating. If you did find this video useful, please consider subscribing to Makers Muse. It is my aim to empower your creativity through technology and love to have you on board. So I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later guys, bye.